hope we aren't live. <laughs> we probably are. I went live literally as he said that. Great. Hey, everybody. You know how you can fight homelessness? Running down capitalism? True. God, Uber Eats, get out. Alright, uh, David, can you stream to Discord so everyone who's not in Tabletop can see? I know those, like... Mm. I'm so bloated. I'm all tired from the food I ate, all that Oh god, it's not that I did Did they cause this drought? Are we still in it? No, I think we're still in it. Yeah, we're still here. It's just loading textures. Right, 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 right. But yeah, as I was saying, mm. I'm hungry. Mm. All I ate was macaroni. Macaroni. <laughs> what a rather have that. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love macaroni, but like, that's no dinner. How do y'all make those macaroni? Wait, with cheese. Alright, well, first off, <laughs> you basic people. <laughs> Whoa! You non-centric individuals. Okay, I feel the deck. You, you need to... Uh, y'all season y'all noodles? Y'all pastas? Oh, yeah, you gotta salt the... You gotta salt the pasta water. Just salt. Mm. Whoa, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Put me on game. Wait, wait, what do you... You salt the noodles with more than just salt? Hello? You don't like put more on boiling the noodles? You don't put more on your noodles? Oh, oh, I think what? you're always talking about when you like cook the noodles, you really heavily salt the pasta water so they come out. Oh uh, yeah, I heavily salt the pasta water. I make yeah, sure it's like alien solutions, like Yeah. I make sure like salty. my house is fumigated with salt water. Hmm. And then after yeah, you I'm drain the water and then you put some uh some cayenne, and you put some of that, um, was it chili flakes? A little bit of, mm. little chili bit flakes. of pepper and garlic mm -hmm. powder. Huh? So chili flakes sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, like honey? and then you put egg, and then you put an egg in. You put an egg in it. Yeah, put and like a raw egg, egg in. I put I put eggs in mac and cheese before. It makes it all really? nice and, and nice and creamy. How do you feel about how did you feel about that decision, Celeste? Um it's too much work. Huh? You could just put an egg in. <laughs> it's more complicated than you think. But it comes out I'm good. Mm. Okay. Extra okay. creamy or what? How many stages are you guys putting? How many cheeses? Yeah. Like the like the packet that it comes with? Huh? <laughs> I'm fucking making Just class macaroni, motherfucker. <laughs> Just the pack. Yeah. Just that artificial header. I can't. Hell yeah. I don't even Please. use that pack. I throw that thing away. I get all of my I get all of my my proper cheeses. Sorry, I I'm no fat cat fucking flooded with Artisan cheeses, bro. Hello, you can just go to H E G and get like some shredded cheeses for like a dollar. Dave, what, what what kind of cheese are you putting in there? I gotta get the feta. I gotta get uh the mozzarella, the jack. I gotta get just a little bit, not too much. It's already spicy oh, enough. That's like eight cheeses already. And then I gotta get the. Uh, and that's the, with the artificial packet. I don't put that artificial shit on there. Oh, so you just use the noodles and toss the packet? Yep. And then I put the and I layer my cheeses on top. Like a like a like a big layer. And then hold on, I'm not done yet because I'm not serving this with the pre with 
with unmelted cheese while it melts on top. Because people do that, they're weird. People who just let their cheese melt like that are weird. You gotta layer it, and then you gotta layer. You gotta it. like, but you gotta put all the pasta in like a in like a pan or like like you know something you can put in the oven, mm. and then you layer it like it's just coated like a pie, and then you pull mm-hmm. it out so it's like a nice and crispy brown. Love it. Love it. Roll. Huh? So what you're That's telling me is that I'm invited for the cookout. Yes. This is not a casserole. <laughs> There's no... What's inside a casserole again? Isn't there like peas Literally and like... anything you can think of, and then Casseroles you put it in like the oven. the bane of existence. I feel like someone named Carol invented a casserole just to put everything. Wow. I, I can see that. What does this evidence mean to but then again, I think like casseroles were just like the necessity of oh we got all this shit left over let's let's throw it in the pan and throw it in the oven boom call it a casserole. I made um pasta. I made Alfredo with angel hair pasta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I make a good lasagna. Yeah, you do. What? Fun is good. I need to find my signature thing. Dang it. But TikTok's been scaring me with the lasagna. Because people are... I saw someone get, like, make, like, a lasagna spaghetti. It was literally just, like, they got spaghetti, and then they formed it into a block, and then they put meat around it into a big old rectangle block, and then they put yeah. cheese over it, and then it just got scarier and scarier. Yeah, I think people are like legally obligated to to make abominations on TikTok. I haven't seen one fucking real ass meal made there ever. Hey, these people, they have these they're, nice they're kitchens. They're sitting there, the algorithm. They're sitting there yeah. off the algorithm and making these disgusting dishes in their beautiful kitchens. Yeah, or the, I hate the ones that like kind of start like they they're looking good, like they're using quality ingredients and this and that, and then they start just just keep and they just keep going like they start with the t-bone steak and then they and then they, they wrap perfectly the t-bone steak it. in like a big bowl of butter and then they fry yeah, it yep. and then they turn it into a pizza and i'm like please exactly they like put pepperonis and fucking throw it in the oven again it's like what are you doing oh and it comes out looking like a fucking caesar salad and i'm like what happened what happened to steak yeah yeah, well, what kind of TikTok are you on? It's either I wish it, it just so it just keeps happening to me because I watched one weird TikTok where a guy ate, like cat food that was like shaped like ice cream that he purposely made it and ate it. And I sat there and I watched the whole process, knowing that I was setting up myself for a disappointment. Mom, I don't have TikTok. <laughs> Then where are you watching these videos? I like Instagram algorithms. Yeah, yeah, Instagram reels, or or YouTube. They got the compilation, like most fucked up meals of twenty twenty two, or like like uh, September twenty twenty two. You know what's ang- What makes me angry is it's also these like really rich people too. So like they have all this money to spend and waste all of this food. It just bothers oh, me. Yeah. Like, rich people are so bored, stuff. and, like, they just need entertainment. They just have so much money, and they're just like, let's just fuck up food. Yeah, it's sad, man. And I just get sick. <laughs> okay, y'all ready to start playing? Sorry, uh, yes. I was setting up some stuff. Gucci, yeah. is everybody here? Uh, I think Gucci, we, we like have enough Gucci. to get started right now. Yeah, it was a good amount of us. I think where we left off, a bunch of you got stunned, so a couple yeah. people aren't even going to have some turns right now, but yeah. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what happens if, like, your character dies in-game? Uh, there, you have three death saving throws, or you have to ha- get three successes or three failures to determine whether or not you die or not. Okay. And then if I die, what happens? Uh, you die. But there are ways you can come back. Okay. Yeah. See you again. 
moving along. Day. That was that was just a hypothetical question. Yeah, just hypothetical. It's not gonna happen. Oh, It'd be a shame if you accidentally died. What's that wolf all the way over there? What's that wolf doing? Who is this? What that dog do? He's scared. He's been scared for a while. Uh, you guys want to go ahead and get started? Go. No. Huh? Hell yeah, man. Okay. I gotta go at like 10. Okay. Or, as yeah. well as I. I have to wake up at 6 a.m. Uh, Ooh, Michelle, I think what? it is your turn first. In front of my pasta? That's right in front of your, yeah, sorry, right in front of your pasta. <laughs> Let's get crazy. Oh, So what happened last time? Can we see the last place? On D&D. Last time. Uh, last time they, they just... talked to the Alep. And the Alep mm -hmm. managed to tell them a little information about what kind of challenge they've gotten into. Well, not even really tell them information on it. Just let them know that they've kind of accepted something that they can't go back from right now. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, who is stunned? I wrote it down right here. I think it's all of us. That would be me, Erica, David... Marcus, the bear, right? Yes. I yeah, think I think Erica and Heba are right. the only ones who did succeed. But, uh... I succeeded too. I think Quinn, Quinn's character didn't make the save, because they're all the way over here, so... It's still your turn. Oh. Wait, well, am I stunned? No, you're good too. You didn't make the save. <sighs> Wait, I didn't make the save? No, uh, you didn't have to. Oh. It wasn't in range of you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're like all the way... Oh, shit. I'm a like loser. Over here with, um... Amel. Yeah. Wait. I chilling over there. So, uh, Quinn, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, not really sure. <laughs> Wait, where am I on the board? Uh, right. you are right, oh, I'm right here. There. Oh, got it. I believe. I believe in us. I feel like I should run somewhere different. I don't want to be caught in sight, but I don't really know where to go. Uh, you have a couple different pathways here. Just, uh... Mm -hmm. You have 35 feet of movement, I believe. Mm. Or just 30. So, you can... If you dash, you can probably make it to around here. Around this corner. Watch mm -hmm. out for those frogs. They hurt you. Uh, uh. I'm honestly not sure what to do. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll head to the other group where everyone's stunned. But I'm gonna try to stay hidden, like, before I get into the room that everyone's at, I'm gonna see, like, near the hallway, if I could go that direction. Uh, say that one more time, down this hallway over here? Yeah, closer to okay, everyone else. Okay. Uh, did you want to dash? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. No. I think you can get End my the... turn. Okay, that is going to be... Abraxas. Now, you failed the save, right? Yeah. So, I think 
you skip your turn right here, but then at the end of your tor turn, you get to roll again to see if you can shrug off the effects of the stun. So go ahead and roll a what kind of uh, a wisdom saving throw. Mm, okay. Ten. Ten, and then you add. One to wisdom, so that's an eleven. Uh, Ooh. that does not beat the DC for this oh. spell, so you oh. are still stunned, unfortunately. But uh, oh, you okay. can try again okay. on your next I'm turn. Stunned. But, yeah, sorry, but uh, go ahead. What were you saying? I was saying I'm stunned, but what about my homunculus or my dog? Um, I think your steel defender is stunned too. Oh yeah, uh, go ahead and make another saving throw for that. Alright, that makes it. So your Steel Defender is now unstunned. Uh, you can go ahead and make a go on its turn right now. Good. Um. Um. So, my Steel Defender is actually kind of strong. And the Allop, we, we kind of fucked them up, right? Uh, yeah, you definitely did. Um. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna let my my dog take a go at it and just attack that Alex. Okay, uh, make an attack roll. I bet. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Um, don't know if I can still join, but I'm happy to observe if I can. No, you can join. Yeah, go ahead. And, yeah. We waited for you. Kind of. No, we definitely waited. I got 11. What does that mean? 11? Uh, I believe... Does an 11 hit its AC? Uh, yeah. It hits. So, go ahead and roll damage. Steel Defender, you roll a d8 and you add two. That's a five. Seven. Okay. Seven. How does your steel defender attack uh, this Alab? Okay, so he gets into attack position and locks on to the Alab's little pointy tail and just gives a, a good, a big old chomp right on his, right on his tail. Okay, uh, you see, uh, your steel defender is mechanical, and it starts to suck up the Allop almost like it's sucking in smoke. And you see the Allop actually shrinks just a little bit. Anything else you want to do on your turn there? There's more I can do. Uh, uh, no, I don't he, think so. Does he have movement? Uh, yeah, yeah, he has movement. Okay, and I want him to get out of here and just go... Oh, oh, oops. I did not mean to do that. I can't pick him up. How did I do that? Okay. Yeah, I want him to go in this little tunnel. Or what I, what I think is a tunnel. Okay, he uh, squares away into this hole over here, and then that is going to be Lava. Make a saving throw, a wisdom saving throw.
Uh, David, you there? Mm hmm. Oh, it's, it's your turn. Did you uh, roll your saving throw? Sorry, I didn't hear my name. I was. Or I guess I thought I was. I'm gonna wait. Why is my speed so slow? Click over here. Bah. <gasps> yes! Okay, 15. 15? Okay, you succeed. You get your turn back. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm gonna punch this man in the. No, he's gonna die. Or this thing. Uh, what should I do? Uh, I should. Why do I have such useless stamina? I guess I'll shatter once more. Okay. The, yeah, that, he, they just have to make a constitution saving throw. And if they fail, I, they do, I do 3D thunder damage on a failed save. Okay. What was the DC? It is... Saving throw, so... Well, I rolled a 20, so I think it's Fuck. gonna beat it. <laughs> uh, but it still takes half, right? Yeah, it'll take half. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage, though. Uh, let's see... So, like, would I just roll all three still? Uh-huh. And then we'll just divide it by... Okay. <sighs> Watch me get big numbers too. I would get an eight. A two. And a six. So eight, two, six. Eight, two, six. Okay. Yeah. So sixteen. And then, so eight damage. <laughs> and, uh, Marcus, what did your steel defender, how much damage did it get as well? Um. Seven. Seven? Okay. Do I still have my bonus action? Uh, as you damage it, you see the Alep shrinks just a little bit more. I'd say you oh, now. Or something. <laughs> do I, I still have my bonus action? Yeah, yeah, you do. Can I... Who's next after me? Uh, it is Peanut. Can I give her Arctic Inspiration? Does that count or not? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Um, I look over to Peanut and I say, You're not the saltiest, you're not the crunchiest, and you're definitely not the smoothest, but your imperfections are what make you unique. Mm. And I just like, I like, that's why you're Peanut. And I just like sprinkle some uh, dust her way. That I got from the floor to your glitter. <laughs> wow, thank you. I feel very nutty now. Huh. <laughs> okay, Peanut, it is your turn with your Bardic Inspiration. Go ahead and roll your saving throw. Okay, so key. Uh, I am lost in the Discord. Uh, I think I changed it to dice chat. Oh Girl, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Um, I was just lost in general. Oh, it's exclamation point. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. There we go, nine. And then it's a wisdom saving throw. Uh huh. I think I think my my modifier is a minus one. Okay, so you are still stunned, but uh, you'll be able to try again on your next turn. Oh wait, you have bardic inspiration. Yes. And that's a D six, and you rolled an eight, so you can still make it. I'll tell you right now, you have to roll a six to make it. So roll a one D six. Uh, 
Four? Okay. Does four make it? Uh, four does not make it. You're close, on uh, almost. <laughs> okay. Okay, then that's gonna be Midna. Okay, uh, what, what's going on? Uh, you succeeded on the saving throw, so you are not stunned. So you s just have your regular turn on the Aleph right now. Okay. And I still have my card here. Okay. I'm gonna use my circle of wildfire. And try to pull it up right now. Finally able to get in the table to help and it's running super slow. Uh can I use my uh circle oh excuse me, uh circle of wildfire? Uh okay, what does that do? Is that a spell or what It's in my cards. I finally was able to get onto a tabletop, so I can't read it because my computer's running really slow. Oh, your, uh, like, burning hands? Your spell? Yeah, yeah. Let's do burning hands. Okay, give me a second. I'm just looking for the card for Burning Hands. Hold up. Uh, so I think Burning Hands is a saving throw or is it an attack roll? Let me check. Okay, it's a saving throw. So uh, your DC is going to be a fifth. No, that's not. Your DC is going to be a 14. And this is just for half. Either way, they're getting uh, burned. Okay. So it's a D6, you said? A uh, 3D6. Ah. Fourteen. Okay. As Aminda uh, raises up her arm and shoots a burning hand to, uh, out of her palm into the belly of the Alep, you see it drops and it dissipates into a big puff of smoke. And then a uh, sort of undead creature... Uh, a little more shady, or a little less shady than the last one, uh, is on the floor, uh, passed over dead. It's, it, the body seems like it's decayed and been dead for years at this time. Custody. But, uh, uh, if anyone wants to make any perception checks, we are out of combat now. Sweet. I saw that thinky motherfucker. Uh, I want to move now. Yeah, yeah, you I can mean, move. Yay. Oh, no, you don't I have to make saving throws move. anymore. You guys, uh, it's the spell has weared off. Oh, no, that's yeah. for my perception. I just oh, 11 perception? perception? Oh, yeah. 11 perception. Plus. You see a staff. Wait, in the, get, oh, wait. Plus, in, uh, sorry, I forgot about my... Plus four. Plus four. So, 15? Yeah. With the 15 perception... You see the staff gripped in the uh, hand of this long dead uh, elderly human wizard, uh, and you can grab it if you want. I'm gr I literally would instantly just have to be like, oh my god, jewelry, accessories, and I'm just like, I'm literally just gonna grab it. Just 
favorite persons. But I definitely go for that staff. Oh, uh, what did everyone else roll on perception? I got a fourteen again. Fourteen. I got, I got eleven. Seventeen. Nice. With a seventeen, a uh, yeah. peanut. You see the cloak on the uh wizard. It seems it's. It's like emitting some kind of, uh, black smoke from it. Did I touch it? Yeah, go yeah. for it. Go for it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put the cape on. Uh, okay. Uh, you put on the cape. Uh, you get the sense that. Actually, make an Arcana check for me. Oh no. Looks great on you. <laughs> Thank you. Smoky. Oh, I, I feel alone. very mysterious. <laughs> I would like to proceed. Let's see what happens. The chicks. Oh, what did you roll on the Arcana? I don't know what my modifier is. Uh, minus one? What the hell? Okay, so 18. 18 okay. Arcana? Yes. Uh, this is a staff of Eldritch Blast. Uh, it gives you the cantrip Eldritch Blast, which is 1d10 force, force damage. And it also has the ability to push and pull enemies that it hits with it. Mm. That was oh, for that, the staff? Yeah, the, that's for the okay. staff, for the, sorry. For, uh, the, for the cloak? Uh, it allows you the ability to pass through objects. What? Wow. Whoa. Cool. A, a certain amount of times per day, but yeah. Okay, I'm Trade. about to go now. Yeah, it sounds perfect for you. <laughs> it does. Quick, someone take a shoot. Very roguelike. <laughs> and then you guys also find a, a scroll of Bane and a scroll of Revivify. Look at that. Revivify. So Bane, Bane is a concentration spell that uh, gives uh, up to three creatures in a 30-foot range 1d4 subtracted from every roll that they make. Mm -hmm. So it's good for enemies, like making them weaker. Uh, yeah, cool. Hmm. And then uh, Revivify, it lets you bring up a dead teammate. Oh, damn. Oh. Huh? Look at us. Is this foreshadowing? Rip. Right. <laughs> Good thing we didn't need it. <laughs> we all get to take turns revivifying. Yeah. I get to, I get to revivify first because I'm the prettiest. Oh, yeah. We got to keep the morale up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, did we already loot him yeah. dry or is, it, is there more to, more to loot? Oh, Open uh, that seems like that's it right now. There, I don't think there are any chests around here. You can guys can keep looking around, but from the perception checks you already made. Oh, I meant like his desk. Oh, actually, um, uh, huh? Amel, you yeah. find Amel as you're looking around. You find sprinkles. Spr sprinkles? Yeah, sprinkles. You haven't been in contact with it this whole time, and it's kind of been cowering in the corner. Ooh, I'm sorry, like, Sprinkles. So, I pet its nuzzle. Muzzle. So, as you, go ahead and make muzzle. another animal handling check for me. Oh my god, I forgot my Sprinkles. Alright. Go find the red sheep. It's the casual god. neglect for me. No, <laughs> it was not. <laughs> 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 I see how you run things around here. Look. <laughs> here I thought the biggest enemy was that shadow monster. Okay. D20 plus 3 for my animal handling. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the new character model again? I forgot. I got a 22! 22 animal handling? Uh, that sprinkles. sprinkles 
Uh, you, Sprinkles uh, runs right up to you and just starts licking your face. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, Sprinkles, I told you to sit. Thank you for staying away from the bad people. Yeah. That's what happened. Uh, anybody else want to make any checks or t uh, ask about anything while we're here? Oh my gosh. You know what? I should know. <laughs> I want to bring out the orb and be like, hey, you recognize this guy? Okay. Uh, the orb comes out. Oh no, this man does not seem familiar to me. Mm. It just seems like he could be long before my time. For all we know, he could have been here for thousands of years. Okay. What were you talking about? Yeah. I want to ask the orb what he was talking about. The challenges that lie ahead. Uh, the orb says, I'm not quite sure, actually. And then as the orb says that... It starts to shine a purple and bluish hue, and it sort of radiates, and the shine grows larger and larger until it takes up the entire room, and then oh suddenly it stops, and you hear a voice coming from the inside. Instead of the cave that my dog's in? Uh, say again? Wait. You, you said Where's inside the... and you stopped talking. Yeah. So, uh, you hear like, a voice that says, says a voice uh, comes over and says, seems we have a new group of challengers and they seem to be quite formidable. And as this voice comes over the intercom, everyone make a perception check. Oh, jeez. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Damn it, I can't tell what that is. I got a uh, rip. I got a seven. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Six. That's my perception. Uh, five plus 15. four. Ten. Fifteen? Yeah. I got a nine. Uh, with the fifteen percep- Oh, plus sixteen 16. perception, Marcus? You get the sense that or not get the sense, you can hear it coming from the next room over. Your sharp, changeling ears have perked up, and you hear what sounds like a stone wall shifting, and an echo coming from a chamber down the way. Uh, is that is that the, the direction that my dog went? Uh, no. It's kind of uh. back here in this direction. Okay. Huh. Looks like we have to do some backtracking. Heard something. Go away, something. Talk to us. Rip. Goddamn dungeons. Where's your dog at? He's in the hole. Oh, the red wanna... cave? Yeah, I want to follow my dog and see what's in that red cave. Uh, you and your dog are just checking in this cave right here? Yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Actually, you already rolled one. Uh, as you're looking in here, you, you see a bunch of funguses that you can pick. They all seem like different kinds. Uh, and you're not mm -hmm. entirely sure what all of them do. You get the sense some of them could be helpful, some could be poisonous. But that's something you can figure out later. But you have a bunch. You can pick up anywhere from like five to twenty of them, depending how long you want to spend on I'm it. A good fun guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick up five of each. Okay. Just uh, there. There started. are seven different kinds in there. So. Uh, okay. Like thirty-five. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Can I carry them? Yeah, yeah. You just okay, stuff cool. them in the in your bag behind you. And then, did you want to uh, uh, check the sound? Yes, heard? I do. Okay. 
Have we been over here? This like big green area? Uh, I don't think so. Or as you, when you guys were kind of patrolling around after uh, you uh, ended combat, you kind of cleared out this place. It didn't seem like there was much, just a lot of foliage. So do I do another perception over here? Uh, no, uh, you can just uh, place your piece wherever you want to walk to. Mm, okay. Well, I see that there's a frog over there. Fuck that guy. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna send my dog to the frog. Um, I'm tech the frog. Uh, you're sending your steel defender. Of uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, cool. Yeah, 18. 18. Uh, it dives right over on the other side of the frog, finds a switch uh, on the wall on the inside over here, and turns it off. Oh, good boy. All right. So, we'll keep on moving. Keep on moving. What is this? What is this path? This looks like a little room. Can I like see what's? Uh, little, there's not look not here. much in there. Just a little uh ent entrance way. All right, cool. All right, keep on. Moving. Uh, as you step into here, your steel defender uh, walks in behind you. Okay, I'm gonna stop right about here, and then I'm gonna let my steel defender do a little deck check, I guess. On these uh, actually, as you step in here on the other side of the hallway, you see a mm. sort of roguish human. Uh, nine, you want to describe your character? You there? Ravan? Yep. Uh, maybe they're away right now. The quiet type, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, it, they don't say anything, they just look at you. Uh, they turn back around and leave through the entranceway that you just heard open. So shy. Alright, so I'm gonna be like, oh shit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to everyone and be like, hey, there's this weird guy over here. He just kind of looked at me and walked away. I hate those things. I hate weird and I hate guys. Heck yeah. Go investigate. Might have to beat somebody else up. I'll go as well. I'll join. Did that. Can Great. somebody More move time over there too? And I don't mean that in a literal sense as Thank myself. You. Just bring everybody. Uh, yeah, I think everyone's uh, kind of heading over. Come here, Sprinkles. No, dude, I can't touch you. Oh, oh. not you. I'm talking to Sprinkles. I'm bringing this guy to. I'm just kidding. Uh, as you guys kind of enter this hallway, what do you do? Mm. Can I check something? Do we... Uh, yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, can I do an arcana check? Down the spooky hallway? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, cool. Let me do it. Uh, 
had like a creepy, creepy catfish or something. Top. Okay. Uh, I roll a 17. And um, what are you looking for right now? Uh, magic. Magic? Like, 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 if there are any, like, we're gonna go down the staircase right there, right? Okay. Like, uh, so at, you, like traps. uh, you don't, creature. you don't sense any booby traps, but you do sense, uh, some summoning magic. Ooh. Hmm. A sense of okay. conjuration. Yeah. Y'all, I think there's a summoning happening close to us or something. I can think. <laughs> you think it might have been a mysterious man who, who ran away? I hate mysterious mm. men. I can't think of mysterious men. It looks pretty like those. So those stairs lead down, I assume. Or uh, they... yeah, they lead down. Okay, would it just be like fully submerged in water? No, no, like, there's no water. Down? There's no water. It's clear. Oh. Okay. I was like, I'm going down. I was like, I could scout ahead, but I guess it's not. Up. Okay, as you all uh enter down in there, uh, I'm gonna load up the new map. Oh. oh Jesus! Got him. <laughs> God. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is that a mate? My favorite. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait. Do the walls go all the way up to the ceiling or what? Uh, we'll absolutely. To uh, that looks like a pain and a half. Wait! Yeah, so let's get based through stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Know. How many times can I go through walls? Uh, three times a day. Point. Okay, three times. That conserved it. I actually set up for this. Makes me. Uh, what do you guys want to do as you enter into this hallway? First off, what is Johnny? <laughs> what is he? I'm gonna do a perception check on the room that we're in right now. Okay. I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, got three. Okay, uh, three. Uh, all you're seeing is a floor to ceiling stone wall surrounding you on all four sides that leads into a maze with a similar setup. Mm. Man, this sucks. I want a fresh one. Okay, I'll also do perception. Yeah. Yeah, I got ten. Better than me. Oh, with a ten mm -hmm. perception, a peanut. You're kind of uh, looking off into this corner over here. You oh, see, and you see a bunch of sarcophaguses that have depictions of minotaurs on its cover. My. Okay, it looks like some sort of weird cow funeral. <laughs> and in one of them, as you're kind of opening them up and reaching in, you find one like, minotaur's horn. Alright, let me pick up this horn real quick. Hmm. If we can make a weapon out of it. Should we ask for orbs? Is there anything significant for 
Good plan. Good point. Yeah. Uh, the orb here. I'll make an <laughs> investigation check. For orbies. That's a twelve. They add six, eighteen. Uh, the orb speaks up and says, "Uh, I'm not quite sure at the moment. It feels like we're missing a piece of the puzzle. But for now, I would suggest you hold that, uh, quite tight. It seems the mm -hmm. last thing we would want to do is to lose that." Okay. Can I do one crazy thing? Uh huh. Can I can I blow into it like a horn? You blow into the horn and make a performance check. Okay. And you add a six to this. Okay. Nineteen, 19 plus, plus six, so twenty-five. Uh a loud horn uh, squeaks through and echoes throughout the entirety of these hallways. Uh, what does it sound like, Celeste? Uh... <laughs> ah, I see. And you hear what sounds like shuffling deep in the maze, and suddenly the walls start to rumble. Ah, damn. What have you done? Something good. It has to be good. It has to be. I'll stay optimistic. Um, so, so, Peanut examined the, uh, Minotaur, uh, what would you call this? Crypt. Uh, what about this little author? Can I, can I do a perception check in here? Uh, make an investigation check. Cool, 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 cool. I am investigating. You add a four. I got a four, I didn't roll yet. No, you add a four. Oh, I add a four. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Uh, that's really spinning. Ooh, 18. 18, so 22. Right. Uh, 22? You see what seems like a journal from... A map. And on the title of the journal, it says a memoir yet to be told. And Ooh. there's no name on it, just on the title of the journal, it says a memoir yet to be told. And it has writing in it, and it it will take you some time to read it, but you have that in your inventory now. Cool. Okay. Can I ask the orb um, how fast of a reader he is? I read probably <laughs> at the same speed, if not a, just a tiny bit faster than you, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you, you probably are faster than me. How just about a tiny bit. You brush up on this. Not, how about not, you brush up on not, this uh, in, not in a few seconds, sort of speed. Hmm. But I, I, I do all right. I finish a couple books every now oh. and then. Not like to stay up to date. I, I can respect. Okay, I, I can respect that. Um, I got something new for you. How about you brush up on this book? I got, I got some other things to do. And you let me give me some cliff notes, some, some stark notes. Yeah, uh, just oh, toss it off. in the bag that I'm in. Uh, I'll get to reading when I can. Cool. Appreciate your work. I toss the book in the bag. Uh, your steel defender runs up to you, grabs the book, and brings it to the side where Bear is, because Bear has the crisp or steel or the professor orb on his satchel on its oh. side. Uh, does anybody else want to do anything while they're here? I rolled a perception check. Uh, what did you roll? I rolled a 20... Oh, uh, you rolled a, you rolled a natural 20, right? Yeah. And then I you added 3, I think? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, with a natural 20 perception, you hear what sounds like at least five pairs of hooves heading mm. directly towards you in the maze. But it seems they're passing through, uh, like, going left, right, up, down as they're going through the maze. But they all seem to be generally headed in your direction. Oh, yo, we got people coming. Or we got something coming towards us. I hope they're bringing snacks, but I don't know. The cool guys. The gals. The people. One minute's worse. In the meantime, I want to check this room over here. Uh, with the perception you already made, uh, the room seems kind of empty. Doesn't seem to be much. Oh. Okay. Did that go for the, the rooms over here too? Uh, uh same thing. <laughs> it, it, you do see signs that at some point recently someone was sleeping here. But it seems like they're long mm -hmm. gone as well as any, uh, things that they might have had on them. Okay. Hey guys, I think this is that weirdo's room. Yeah, I don't know. Gotta find that guy. Whoa, weird. Uh, is it dark? Uh, it's... You see there seems to be some sort of artificial artificial light lining uh, the corners of all the walls, kind of like LED lights on the ceilings. From uh, what I can see from the maze, is it dark? Or like... Uh, it's, you'll be able to see fine. Okay. <laughs> So, as an artificer, do I just make weapons, or can I make, like, useful items? Uh, you can make some items. Uh, you have your artificer infusions, and all the stuff that you have on your character sheet that it gives you, or it tells you everything that you have the opportunity to make there. You want to look through that? Okay. I, it's all in your uh, in your cards right here, like the infuse item, okay. infusions, everything. And then I have your uh, infusions should be right here. Mm -hmm. I just realized I think I selected the wrong color or something, because I got some cards that are like floating. Okay, now uh, I change it. Oh, perfect. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, okay, do you guys start to head into the maze? Yeah, I'm done. I was waiting to see if anyone else wanted to make a move. Yeah, I'm right behind you guys. Uh, left or right? Jeez. Right. Oh, left. No, let's go right. Oh, let's okay. Go Pina goes left. left. Who went right? Please. I'll go What's right. What's that rule about mazes? You always gotta stay the, the one side. Is it the left side or the right side? I'm gonna say the right side. I don't know. Well, <laughs> Is that a real rule? Okay, so we're grouping up. Actually, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should split up. We shouldn't split, split up. up or let's go uh, this sounds like a bad <laughs> idea. There's let's five go. Of them yeah. out there. So we all stick together then? What if we all fall in a trap? Oh no. <laughs> I think all right. Gosh darn it. I can't fly to get y'all. These walls go all the way to the ceiling. I True. can. I have an idea. I can. Can I do? Uh, how much concentration will it take? Could I, like, every time we, like, pass something up, can I leave, like, dancing lights behind me? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Like a trail of breadcrumbs from... <laughs> yeah, and, uh, the one... It, uh, they all... Yeah, you can keep dropping them, sort of, like, breadcrumbs. 
to follow your tracks? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Wait, can mm -hmm. I do a perception check on like the sturdiness of the walls? Uh, yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, what did you roll? I rolled a one. A one? Okay. <laughs> a one oh, for thanks. these roll. Okay, with a one perception on the sturdiness of the walls, this is like paper. You could run through this easily. But you get the sense that you're going to have to get a running start. Okay. I'm going to try to run into the wall. What happens? <laughs> okay, you Ooh, run nice. directly into the roll. Make a strength saving throw. Okay. Nine. Yeah, what does nine get me? <laughs> <laughs> Minus one, so an eight. Uh, you run directly into the wall and take... I take damage. Two <laughs> points <laughs> of bludgeoning damage as you bash <laughs> headfirst into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did it at least break? Wow. Uh, not even a crack. Damn. What an impulse. <laughs> I respect the, the moxie. I like how we probably yeah, also didn't know she was checking. She just we just witnessed her run into the wall. Good <laughs> <laughs> entertainment. Like, like, that was a thing. I guess we keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Not some guy in computer stuff. <laughs> They're already losing it. We haven't even entered the maze yet. <laughs> you Fresh guys <laughs> you guys hear a faint roar coming from deep in the hallways. It seems a lot closer now than it was before. Okay. Maybe we stick together and try to kill what they're yelling at us. But let's yeah. make like a, I'll go up. We'll make a long line. Yeah. Oh yeah? You want to be the front of the line? Okay. I'll lead. Okay. I'll lead since I'll leave my dancing lights. Yeah, dancing lights. Is that right? Wait, 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 wait. Do you need to leave the lights if we're all together? Or, or are we just kind of making a Pac-Man thing in the maze right now? Oh, uh, what do you guys want to do? I'll I leave think we're so I can put light up. up. We're like staying in the group. Yeah. Okay, everyone's going to the right? Yeah, it's just gonna be a long conga line. Conga, conga. <laughs> Everybody hold hands. Okay, uh, now from here, which way do you want to go? Uh, uh, David, do you want to lead? Yeah, I'm leading. Okay, go ahead and d drag your character, and I'll bring them all behind you. I kind of want to see what's in that room over there. I don't know. But how, many times, um, how many times can I keep going? Oh, uh, just keep going. Oh, oh. Uh, bear and sprinkles are actually too big to fit in the maze. Uh, so bear and sprinkles are going to stay on this other side. So they're gonna stay back the whole time? That's rough. Field weeds. Uh, they're, familiar, they're familiar, so you can, uh, like, uh, bring them back at any time you want. Oh, like, spawn them to you? Yeah. Kind of? Yeah. Um, cool. My hummus, or, my hummus, I guess. My dog. There you my go. dog's good, right? Uh, 
Uh, Lava, go ahead and make a perception check. As you... It's always me. Yeah, you're oh in front God. as you kind yeah, of peek on inside. the other corner of this hallway. That's a five plus a four. Nine. <laughs> a nine. Okay, so nine, as you step into this hallway, you're looking at the fire, campfire in the center, and as you are, you do not see this coming directly for you. Oh my god. Always some shit. <laughs> it's always me. What is it? Lay it on me. How bad could it be? Oh my gosh. Uh, what is this? A minotaur comes charging directly at you, oh, leaps, no. d leaps over the fire with an axe. Uh, ready to swing down and directly at your head. Uh oh, you said I wasn't able to react. God damn it. Uh, yeah, you, uh, that was what the perception check was for. And what did you roll on the perception check again? You rolled a nine. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't think he caught it. Oh. But, uh, go ahead. Somebody and... have. Body. Gonna uh, take two d eight plus four piercing damage. Jesus. How much does it do? To uh, that's an eight and a three. So eleven plus fifteen damage. Fifteen piercing damage. And I'm gonna say that actually was a short rest, so you guys should be bu back up at full. Oh. Yeah, what was my regular health again? So your health was at 27, now it is at... Minus 15... Uh... Third... 12. Oh. Is that my current HP or at Max's? Current HP. Okay. Max is 27. Yeah. I mean, uh, now we are in initiative. For the sake of simplicity, we're gonna keep the initiatives we're in right now, and I'm just gonna roll for the Minotaur. Wait, so he? Oh, okay. Twelve. Oh. I got an eighteen. Oh wait, should I have said no never mind. You beat my base. Armor class. I got an eighteen. Eighteen? What yeah. an eighteen on what? From D initiative. Uh okay. Uh go ahead and record that. We're gonna save that for next session. Oh. Hopefully my dice just stays in there. Like this. And <laughs> uh, we're just gonna go with the initiative that we have from right now. So Quinn, oh, yeah. or yeah. actually we stopped at Minna went. Uh, Amel, it's your turn. Oh, right now? Uh huh. Awesome. Okay, so. I'm gonna say you're all like a little bit closer. Well, yeah, I'm gonna look at my card. And because it was a short rest, are all our spells and stuff recharged, or is it only HP? Uh, only. Actually, well, we're gonna say we have full everything because we're gonna get level up after this, after okay. this session. But yeah, for now, I'm just act like you have full spell slots. Awesome! 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 Okay, so. I am going to the 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 this like a minotaur person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking very strong, much armor. Wow. Um, 
So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hit it with some magic damage, see how it does. And I'm going to do uh, my, like, inflict wounds. Because it's a melee attack, right? And I'm close enough to it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll to hit. Okay, I'm gonna try. I gotta roll how many? D20 and add four. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Don't do this no more. Fine. Or add five, actually. Oh my, my, okay. Uh, D20. Oh no, come on. D20 plus five. Plus five. Go! Yes! Okay, 19 definitely is gonna hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, That's 3d10, like 3d10 necrotic. Okay, so As, do I just like take it? Uh, you kind of fly in between all of your friends, kind of dishing and dashing through them, and come out uh, on the other side of this minotaur, and grab it, or how do you inflict this damage on it? Inflict wounds, it's a kind of necrotic undead kind of damage you're doing to it okay do i touch it yeah yeah okay so um my veins turn black and the blackness spreads from my face to my fingertips to my weapon that i'm hitting it with and i take a like long arching swing and i hit it and the blackness like like tendrils into it Okay, go ahead yeah. and roll 3d10 for me. 3d10. And there's no modifiers on that? Uh, no. Yeah. Ooh, that one. Okay, okay 18. 18 damage. Yeah. You, uh, make a perception check as you do that. <laughs> okay, perception... Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. <clears throat> 21. Okay. With the 21 perception, as you hit it with that inflict wounds, you see it kind of shimmer in and out, and with this blue magical light, kind of glitches in and out of existence. Make an arcana check for me. You, okay. Lover, and Abraxas all make arcana checks. Okay. Yeah, 18 plus... Oh, it's yelling me. Okay. 18 plus 6. Oh, God, 6. So, 24, David? Yeah. With the 24 Arcana, this, this is a summon with a much diminished health. So, it you get the sense that the summoning ability it's using allows them to summon a bunch of them. But because of the way that it's be, they are being summoned, they only have half health. So you, you get there a, a little bit easier to pick off, but there might be a bunch more waiting around you in this area. I can agree by that something so minute touch me. <laughs> hey, what's I wrong like, with being minute? Just like you said. And I tell <laughs> everybody else, I was like, everyone attention on me while I'm also currently like wounded that's also a big deal by the way in case anyone's wondering I'm hurt wounded but also the minotaur is just a construct within the confounds of this maze which are many more minotaurs I minotaur eyes as he's saying that, that a harp a harp sound starts to play in the background <laughs> Do I know uh, that? No, what? Do I know that harp? No, you're playing the harp. It's you playing oh, the harp no. as you're saying no. that. But, uh, Mel, do you want to end your turn there? Um, 
So like, I've used my action. I don't have a bonus action, right? Uh, you do have a bonus action. Mm, but there's nothing to aim oh, at. Oh, right have... I know you can still hit this Minotaur, or uh, I don't know if you have actually. Sure. You have like yeah. spiritual yeah, weapon you can cast. Yeah, but I'm like, do I want to save it for later? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Just whatever that. you want to do. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, is it a bonus action to like call sprinkles or whatever? <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, sprinkles. you can do that. Come here. Sprinkles appears right uh, next to you. Oh yeah, good buddy. And um, is sprinkles like does sprinkles get an action or no? Uh, not right now. They'll get an action next turn. Just because okay. you just summoned it. Got it. Could I, so like it, it has to appear by me? Can I can I kind of have it protect lava? Oh uh, yeah, it kind of comes on the other side here. Yeah, yeah. Sprinkle some of your love on me. <laughs> it gets in attack mode. Yeah. Kind of swipes at it. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's gonna be Quinn. Back to you. Time to move forward. I'm gonna try to shoot it at the middle towards my arrow. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll. That's the D20, right? Uh-huh. Thirteen? Thirteen plus six, so nineteen. 19 attack, you hit, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, you roll, actually you're supposed to roll a d10 for damage. Five. Five, and then I think you add three to that. So you do eight damage as you raise your longbow, stretch, and release, and the arrow goes right through its left eye. And it screeches out in pain. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? I have any movement left, I probably would like stop, like go left, left, right. Uh, like go to left. left forward or left back? Forward. Forward? Okay. Yeah. You can probably get to like around this corner. Yeah. Or actually, if you want, you could do, uh, probably reach around here. Bonus action, disengage. Yeah, you can reach around here. And I'll be at the end of my turn. Okay, that is gonna be Abraxas. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and rush and sidestep uh, Lava here and just try to like from my sidestep do a upward. Um, like slash with my uh, with my arcane sword. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack for me. All right. Seven. Okay, seven plus six, so thirteen. Mm. That is gonna be a miss. But yeah. you have your steel defender if you want to go. True. Okay. It uh, leaps around onto the other side of the Minotaur. Okay. Oh. oh. There it goes. Great. Try that again. Here, I got it. Okay. 
Or what did you okay. roll? Ten? Ten. Uh, ten is gonna hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Wait. 1d8. Oh, yeah. Uh, red one. Uh, red? Oh, okay. Oh, I accidentally fucked that up. <laughs> Eight, uh, three, eleven yeah. damage. Uh, okay. With your arcane so sword that is now kind of coated in a black smoke, almost now from the living demi planes it managed to absorb. Uh, it takes it or it plunges deep into the uh calf of the minotaur in front of you. And you uh, pull it out, and it spurts blood, uh, and it kind of splashes all over your cloak. Nice. Okay. And I guess my dog got a good chunk of his ankle. Uh huh. And then that is gonna be lava. Hmm. I think. Time to scatter. Yes. What does it take? Gosh, it's already ten. What is what? What's it saving throw? Uh, what kind of saving throw? I'm doing the shatter. Oh, okay. That's con Constitution. Yeah. Constitution saving throw. Okay. Let me roll. I like a thirteen plus one, so fourteen. Five. That's a nineteen. It's probably that's gonna succeed, so it's gonna take half damage. So three d eight. Yeah, I gotta go. Eight nine three. Me as well, actually. So what did you roll? Uh, I got an eight and nine and a three. So twenty. Okay, 20 damage. Uh, as L Lava comes up with a third, second level shatter and eviscerates the Minotaur, it kind of pixelates into uh, magical energy before it puffs and uh, glitters and falls to the floor, whatever's left of it. That Minotaur is gone, and in its place, you find one more Minotaur's horn. And then we're going to go ahead and end here, and we'll come back next session. Because it's getting late. Bet. Here's the chickens. Yeah. Unfortunately. Alright, that was, that was fun, y'all, though. Uh, we're going to end it here, come back next week. Same time. Alright. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Right. Awesome. I wish I didn't have to wake up at 6 a.m. Yeah.